Today's the day, folks. Today, we are going to renovate the biggest penthouse in The Sims 4. This has been requested and it's a big job. It is a very big job. So today is Saturday. I'm hoping to get this finished by Monday to then have this video out as per usual. To get a coffee or a tea or something, let's play some Sims. So the penthouse that I am talking about is the one my face is currently covering. It's in the fashion district called One Terendi Tower Penthouse. It's a party place and it has a sunny aspect. It is worth 240,000 simoleons plus three bedrooms, three bathrooms. Let's have a look. The other penthouse is over here in the arts district. I actually prefer this penthouse. It's a bit smaller. Actually, it's a lot smaller. And it's like rustic industrial looking, but we'll do that another day. I'm actually not sure if I've renovated this before. I've definitely rebuilt it, but I kind of want to keep the current look and feel of it. Just make it way better. So it still very much feels like Sam Maishino. Now I have put a wall over here. This is just some swatches that I'm gonna show you guys soon and some swatches down here. So just ignore that. But this is the current penthouse. It's got like a really big green area down here. We've got a pool as well. But let me tell you, this is a pretty funky looking floor plan. Like it makes zero sense and I'll show you why. So on the bottom floor, we have a basketball court and two bedrooms. There's also the lift access in the corner. If we spin around, we have the kitchen down here, but there's actually no dining table. This is actually a bubble blowing machine, so that's not a dining table. There's nowhere to eat. It's just bizarre. There's like two lonely counters here. I mean, I'm assuming they were really struggling with the performance of this lot because when you're building a lot to ship with a game you have to restrict how many items you use by a lot and that becomes a big problem when it's like a big build so i'm guessing that's what happened um but yeah i just feel like there needed to be a dining table down here there's also this massive bathroom with two showers and you have to walk all the way to the end to get to the toilet. When we go upstairs, this is where the dining table is. So you actually have to go downstairs to the kitchen to make your food, to then walk up these stairs, walk around the corner to sit down. Sims are usually walking upstairs to wash their dishes in the bathrooms for some reason. So I guess it kind of makes sense for the Sims. Maybe this is what we've been doing wrong all along. Then there's a bar with like a random sink. I mean, it's actually really good to have a sink at a bar, I suppose. And then guys, look at the lounge room. I'm not kidding, this is the lounge room. This little pocket is the lounge room because I guess this could be a lounge room, but there's no TV. So this is the lounge room in this whole massive penthouse. That is the only lounge room. What is happening? Why did they build it this way? I have so many questions. Then we have the karaoke bar, piano, like I said, the dining room. And then this bedroom is very unique in that the bed kind of, the okay, what is happening here? The bed isn't even aligned with the window, I don't think. So it's just to the side, then there's this here. I don't know why these are so close to the doors. Like, could they not be further away? It's just the whole thing's so bizarre. So yeah, we're definitely gonna need to renovate this. So down here, I was playing around with some color schemes. So I'm thinking for this apartment because it is in the fashion district. It is a new looking building. I was kind of thinking of going really minimal, clean lines. And then that way you can move any family into it and make it whatever you want it to be. So I was playing with some flooring swatches. Sometimes it's helpful to get out swatches to build with, especially when it's a big build. So I was thinking we stick to these lighter colors, creams, concrete, maybe a bit of black accents, gold. And then I've just put some walls over here. Maybe we could introduce a pop of olive green, uh, some darker grays, and maybe some darker browns as well. Those are just kind of my initial thoughts. So I might just put this wall over here and delete this one so we can kind of go back to this. The other thing I would like to do is I would like to blend the top of this build into the existing building because I feel like this looks slightly awkward. Like it matches the rest of the building pretty well, but probably the biggest issue I have with it is these windows are the wrong color. They should be this green hue to match the rest of the windows below it. Um, so I definitely want to change those. And I also want to continue this like incremental pattern of the levels. So I'm gonna definitely extend this out and then 
put the windows in the exact same way. And I think by doing this, it's gonna just blend it in really nicely. So pull that up and then we'll put in a couple of these windows. And we just continue the pattern that's showcased on the rest of the building. I also think the trim could be gray to match the gray down here. Uh, this get famous one is an okay fit. Uh, we're gonna have to play around with this a bit more. Yeah, so if we get rid of that, I don't know, don't you reckon this blends in better? And I don't know, we can't really recreate the glass here per se. But I don't know, maybe we could use some glass awnings across it to tie it in a bit. We can have a bit of a play with that. And I also feel like these harsh triangular bits don't really go with the rest of it. My main aim to begin with was just to blend this penthouse into the building below it. So how I did that was just making changes to the exterior. So for example, I'm bringing out the balconies, making it line up with the apartments below the penthouse. And I'm also going to be adding like, I guess, curves to the back of the apartment to blend in with the curved balconies, like you can see right here. Uh, and then I also made sure all the windows aligned with the apartments below it as well. And just those simple changes and trying to get the closest trim that I could to match the ones below, those simple changes made such a difference with making this appear like a convincing penthouse, not just like a lot plonked on top of a building. And I feel like it would have been really cool if they had done this initially. Um, I think that would have just been a little bit more realistic, I guess. But I'm more than happy to do it because it was a fun challenge. To, and I liked seeing or I liked watching the transformation as we did it, even though that sounds a bit corny. It was really, really satisfying to make it blend in. And I thought the balcony out here was just so nice. It would be a shame to put a big wall along it. So I semi blended in by putting big columns along it and then that helps blend it in again. Here we're just uh, placing some of the windows. I also match the color of the windows to the windows below because originally they were clear and we could match them in the greeny color, um, which yeah, again, I feel like they should have done that initially when the game came out, but I guess whoever built it didn't realize maybe that there were those window colors, which I don't blame them. Actually, now I think of it, maybe those window tints came later on in a game update. Maybe they weren't, maybe they weren't even there for city living. Actually, I think they did come in an update, so that's handy. So then I just decided to do the floor plan. I cut a lot of this out just because the floor plan took me so long, you guys. Floor plans are really, really hard when it's a lot this big, at least. I find it really difficult, so I had to fully focus. And I actually started off with placing the lift and the essentials for the apartment building so I could actually save it. If you don't have the essentials in there, then you can't save the lot, which is a bit of a problem if it crashes. <laughs> so I did that and then I put in the staircase and then I built bedrooms upstairs around the staircase because I knew I wanted the bedrooms to be upstairs. And then I went downstairs and I started placing furniture like I am now, the cabinets and whatnot to get an idea of scale for every room. And then I created the floor plan around the objects. So I go about it in a pretty weird way, but I think it I think it works really well. I'm really, really proud of this build. And right now we're going to be taking an idea from the last apartment build we did uh, with the battens there to create a back-to-back -back fireplace. So I thought it looked pretty cool. So even though I wasn't going to, I think I will keep the full basketball court in here just because some people really love that this apartment has that and it's kind of iconic, I guess. I swear I spent half of my life just fixing up and aligning down lights. I reckon we're gonna bump this out. It's quite an extensive renovation going on in this penthouse. Obviously this isn't the final furniture. We're going to pick really, really nice furniture. So this would be like your formal area and then over here would be your TV area. Probably have a door going outside too. And then I was thinking having a big TV over here, which I think works. I think that looks pretty cool. I mean, we'll make it look all pretty. This just looks weird right now. This will be a bathroom that can be accessed from both sides. I think this is this house is going to end up with like seven bathrooms probably. So in here would be the gym. And then what is this whole area going to be? 
This basketball court has taken up so much room. But I do feel like people would be upset if I didn't include it. Ooh, we could also put in a sauna. The sauna could go in the gym area. Sneaky sauna in here. A lot of people don't know this, but if you have the right cheats on, there's a debug item from Batu, which is this amazing big archway. So good. And it is perfect this dining room, I think. I think in terms of the floor plan, this is looking pretty good. And one, two, three, four, five bedrooms all with en suites. So five bedroom, seven bathroom. It's not bad. And then I've also got to figure out the garden. Now I did take out the pool that was upstairs just because I thought it looked a little funny and unrealistic. And I actually think a lap pool will look really cool out here and it won't take up any of our floor plan. You know what I mean? Like if we put it on the next level, it would take up room on the level below. But the level below this isn't our problem. So <laughs> we could definitely just put a nice pool out here. So once I put the pool down, I then wanted to create pathways around it to get an idea of what kind of landscaping we could do. And I wanted to have lots of pool lounges because I feel like that's just very luxurious to have lots of pool lounges. A nice row of green trees would look pretty cool. And then I created this like sunken outdoor lounge area, which I really liked using items from the Desert Luxe kit. And that came out really nice. Another item I really love from Debug Mode is this like stripy cactus shrub. This is from Strangerville and it's just so cool. It's such a modern looking plant. I feel like I've, I want to use this a lot more in my builds. This is looking really cool. I'm really happy with this outdoor area. I couldn't freely place the pool though, which was a bit of a shame, so it kind of had to go in this area. I'm really loving this flooring, by the way. I don't think I've ever used this flooring as like a main flooring in a house, but I like how it's got that sheen to it. It's really glossy. Anyway, so for the kitchen, did we want to go the light wood or do we want to go the dark? Ooh, I like the green. Let's go green for a change. That is also something we haven't done for a while. Oh no, now I remember why I never do the green. It's because the top of this is actually blue. It's like a blue gray. Bummer. Actually, I think I'm gonna go light colors with black accents because otherwise it's just gonna look super dark and I've done so many really dark kitchens lately. I think this will be a little bit more refreshing. These lights that came in the Moschino pack are so handy. They just look so good. Ooh, or you know something that I haven't done for a while and that's put a stove on the island. And then we could have these lights over the bar area. Yeah, I like that. We really desperately need some built-in fridges in The Sims. The custom content ones are so nice to use and I just really want Max's ones. Do we need something behind this bar, like a big painting, or is minimal and the lights enough? Maybe we'll put this over here. This is, this is a classic. Someone's having a good snooze over there, snoring away. All right, this is going to be our dining room. And cause we've got a bit of orange in the chairs over here and a bit of terracotta, we could play around with that. Maybe some orange chairs. Let's maybe go for this green color. And then there's some browns in it as well that kind of ties into the oranges in this area without it, I guess, being too much. I feel like all of these walls are so similar. Maybe we need to break this one up a bit. And there we go. We don't need this rug anymore. So we're looking into oranges and greens, which then brings us to the lounge room. I'm thinking that we do like L-shaped couches. Maybe the ones from um, Dream Home Decorator would be good over here just so then we can make our own custom shape. I really love couches that are back to back. I think they look really cool. And I like how sometimes they have a backless section to it. So it kind of merges into the next part of the room. I think this is a really good way to furnish like massive homes with massive lounge rooms or hotel lobbies and things like that. Ooh, maybe we could do an end like this. Hold on, will this work? Oh, it, it wants to be a little further apart. Well, we could put something in the middle here, maybe like a screen or something. There are lots of screens that fit perfectly into here, but I feel like they either look tacky or really commercial for a home. There's also the idea of having like bookshelves, which I like this idea, but I feel like 
maybe even though the couch looks really pretty with these two sides meeting in the middle maybe it's not really worth it because we could size down these bookshelves but then they're going to be quite short in such a big room like it's kind of cool i would rather just have them full size and then use them as dividers for this big space this way actually i kind of like this idea why aren't you cooperating, Mr. Shelf? Why are you guys on different... Oh, there we go. I think I'm going to play it safe and go with neutrals. So we've got a bit of color down this side. I mean, we could actually, if we want to tie this into the other side of the room a little bit more, we could make this spice brown like that if we want to or we can still play around with the green color which i personally really like and then over here originally i was going to use the modular sofas but i actually think these ones look a little bit more high end and i kind of like the bookshelf in the middle of the room i wasn't going to do this but i think it actually works really well so let's do that and maybe put this chair over here i really wish we had matching armchairs like these like just a really big armchair, like the size of half the couch. That would have been really cool. And for some reason I keep thinking that exists, but it doesn't, right? I'm imagining it. I must have dreamt it or seen something in real life that's similar. I love the contrast on these chairs, on this swatch. And then I was thinking we could use these uh, tables from, I think these were from Get Together. And we could either go all black or have the lighter timber underneath. Maybe we can layer a couple of those together or just place them together for a smart looking square coffee table. And then over here, maybe we could do like a, hmm, I don't know, maybe a bit of an asymmetrical pattern. Ooh, the white goes together really nicely. I like how this one actually fits underneath this bigger one. Make it look a little dynamic. What do you guys think? I feel like that looks fancy. Like a fancy, expensive coffee table on both sides. Oh, three-layer coffee table, anyone? It's like a triple deck of chocolate. Gonna hide a little hint of orange in here to tie it into the other room. You know, just a little accent color. I think we can have two of these next to the TV. Why not? Also, there is an armchair here. Uh, okay. <laughs> well, we could maybe add in some poofs. <gasps> Or oh, these. I do like, but we've already got a lot of tables. So let's add a couple of poops on here. It's like there's a cream side and a dark side. Okay, this has turned out pretty cool. These down lights are a bit of a mess. I feel like if we put lights over both of the lounges, it's going to look a little too over the top, you know? Actually, that's not so bad. Well, there's these ones, the Desert Lux lights. There's actually a pretty cool another thing i really like to do is make my own chandelier out of these tiny living lights like you just put them all together and rotate them it creates this really cool like lighting centerpiece over the lounge room how cool does that look it doesn't really go with the other side maybe i'll do that upstairs and then we can match these lights cool i'm pretty happy with this very crisp also it's really cool to intersect this Desert Lux platform with this, what was this from? Like the plant kit with this tree out of it. I've put one near the entrance as well. I think that looks cool. Although now we have too many of these plants. I really, really like them. I need to do an updated My Favorite Things build because that's always really fun and really enjoyable to film because obviously I'm building with my favorite things. Is that too much brown in here? I need to do a bit of green. Green to the green. These greens don't fully match. I guess the black is probably nice. Why does the floor look dirty over here? Like weird shadows. This is kind of weird, but kind of cool because this space looked so empty. I was thinking maybe we could create a floorboard rug where the floorboards just go in a different direction. I just think it makes it look interesting. We can do it again over here so it doesn't look as random. Wee. Okay, for the gym, I think this spa day gym equipment looks the nicest. It looks very fancy. So maybe we have like treadmill over here, some cork yoga mats. I think I would really love to have a cork yoga mat. I just like the aesthetic. It just looks really cool. It would be really handy to have a water fountain. That would be a really good object for them to add in the game. Because we could use it on all the community lots. Good time. So let's just say this is the area you can fill up your water. Ooh, punching bag. That's what I'm forgetting. We need gym mats. I mean, this kind of looks like a gym mat. 
Oh, the dine out, no slip, no mess. Now that is the perfect gym mat. I wonder if there's eco-friendly gym mats because I feel like this rubber is probably really bad for the environment. I would put more windows in, but the reason why I'm not doing that is just because it's gonna slow down the loading of the light. So we'll just leave out the mirrors. We've got some over here. Stereo, ooh, flashy. I like to hang these plants inside the battens, like the battens are what helps hold them up. I like the idea of the master bedroom just being really light and bright very like LA master bedroom. I feel like I see so many videos of like Hollywood Hill homes on, on shows like Selling Sunset and everything's like really light and bright. So that's what I'm imagining in my head. I feel like it doesn't translate as well to The Sims. All the lighter colors. Or we could go for this more neutral vibe. And what I've basically done is I've just copied the color scheme down here and I've taken it upstairs. <laughs> I actually really like this earthy vibe. Or we go back to the blue idea. I am really struggling with this main bedroom. When in doubt, just, just add greenery and everything will be okay. All I can say is thank God for greenery. And then I guess in the main bathroom, we can just extend this theme. I would also love to get like some sinks that are designed to look good in Sims bathrooms. I reckon ones that would like sit on top of the counters would be pretty cool. Although that'd probably be a little bit high up. Just some really nice built-in sinks for bathrooms. Cause these look like, I don't even know what they look like. They just don't look quite right. Petra. When we do finish this, it's gonna be a big tour. Very nice, big tour. Oh, I always forget about these screens that came with Snowy Escape. That looks pretty good. What happens if we stack them? Does this look cool? I mean, it's obstructing the shower, so maybe not. <laughs> Oh, this would be really cool on the exterior of a building. Like repeated over and over and over again. That's awesome. We can probably do double showers in here. Yes. This can be our watch area where we put all of our expensive watches. I don't really get the watch thing, to be honest. Like I have no interest in watches or expensive watches personally. But look, everyone's got their thing. It's just not for me. And then we need two fancy pantsy mirrors. Better yet, let's have a style station right here. Gorgeous. Pretty nice. Ooh. I mean, do these tiles look better than the floorboards? Like part of me really likes that. But then part of me is like, nope, we need to have the flooring. I'll leave the flooring for now. A okay, hot tub over here. I also did a little lounge room situation upstairs with our lights. Okay, let's turn this into our olive green room. I like to do color themes for rooms, just so they come out looking a little bit different to each other. Otherwise, let's be honest, they're all gonna turn out exactly the same. <laughs> so we need to experiment with color. Maybe let's do mismatched lights on either side. It's really interesting, only the half size ottoman is here, but there's a bigger one. See this one. I wonder why that is. Cause I definitely feel like I use that a lot less cause it's not in that area. This room is gonna be our purple and sage room. Cause we've always got to have a bit of sage. I mean, I guess we kind of had sage in that room too. <gasps> dream catcher, pretty. These candles are so cute. It reminds me of a little caterpillar. Each bedroom also has some skills in it. So this is like the candle making room and the artist easel. This one is the stylist and the musician. And this room can be the gaming Sims room. This chair is just so cute. I would have loved this as a teenager. Oh my gosh, this costs 332,000 simoleons. That is very pricey. Good Lord. Let's have a tour. Okay, so welcome to the finished penthouse. This is what it looks like in the rain. And it really does blend in with the building so much better. See that, how it curves around with the other balconies. Obviously it's a little bit different, but hey, it's the penthouse, so that's all right. But I think this looks really good. And I love all the trees as well. And I actually really like what we did with the roof here too, how the parts with the air conditioners are sunken down a little bit. It just makes it look a little bit more finished. Okay, so when you walk in, this is what it looks like. This is our lift area, very nice. Champagne gold lift. And I absolutely love this big Batu archway. The best thing to come out of that pack is this archway. That sounded really shady. I also like this little area too. Yeah, this is our dining area. It looks through to the lounge. 
It's very fancy. I love how we've done the fireplace. And then around the corner is where the kitchen is. And I think that looks pretty nice as well. Could have gone for a darker kitchen. Maybe it would have looked a little bit more classy, but this is still nice. Then of course a penthouse has to have a bar. It's not really the best time to go outside, but you can see the beautiful lap pool, the hot dogs, the sunken seating area, and all of those beautiful sun lounges, even though it's nighttime. I put in a bit of a split level here just to separate the spaces a little bit more. Got this gorgeous piano area. Originally I was gonna put a bar here, but I think this looks a lot better. And then this is our double lounge area and the bookshelves have worked really well. And it's funny cause it wasn't my original plan, but I think I like it more this way. And I love the coffee table. Who would have thought those coffee tables from get to work could be used like this? Yeah, I think this looks pretty cool. Okay, where to next? Well, we've got a little powder room in here. So this would be the main powder room. And down the hallway to the left is the basketball. Hey, to the left is the basketball court. And straight through here, I added an office because I feel like whoever can afford this apartment is probably doing some big business. So a nice office here, stunning view, cool picture. So we can go down here to the gym area. This is the gym we built, very nice. Sauna, and then you can see out to the basketball court. Very cool. I'd love to shoot some hoops here. <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that. And my game's actually lagging a bit on this lot. Uh, I'm on an older computer here in Sydney. It's actually James's older one. So I do feel the lag a bit more here. So that's why I didn't want to clutter it up too much. There's also the gym bathroom, separate toilet. And then the other side of the gym comes back out to the hallway. So it's quite a practical floor plan. Like I feel like this will be good for your Sims to route around in. The garbage chute is under the staircase. Coming upstairs, this is the fun lounge room. I think it's fun because it's a little more casual. It's upstairs near the bedrooms. It's a little less serious. So it's got lots of pattern and our fun pendant light. And yeah, this is where all the bedrooms are. Let's go to the main bedroom. So we've got that beautiful wardrobe. And then this is the main bedroom we spent a lot of time on. I just couldn't figure out the color scheme. I don't know if I like this. I mean, someone will like it. I think it's okay. Then we have this really beautiful bathroom. Oh my gosh, imagine that being your bathroom view, crazy. There's also a separate toilet. Next to the main bedroom is the second bedroom. So this has got like the green and oranges and it also has access to the rear balcony. All the bedrooms have pretty similar en suites. So if we walk out across the balcony, we'll go to the next bedroom. The bedrooms are actually so big. Like I'm not used to my bedrooms being this big in The Sims. But this penthouse is so big. And we've got the third bedroom. No, the fourth bedroom. Pretty cute. This is more of like a butler's bedroom or the fifth bedroom can be the guest bedroom. They also have balcony access. And across the lounge is the hot tub. Oh my gosh, I just realized all the bedrooms have balcony access. So that's actually really good. They have their own en-suites and balcony access. Although this guest one has a, bed, uh, a bathroom over here. So that's it, you guys. The penthouse finally remodeled. I'll upload this to the gallery under the username Deligracy. There's no custom content, so you can download it on console. And yeah, let me know what you think. Also, let me know in the comments down below if you'd like me me to do the other penthouse renovation or any other videos you would like me to make. Thank you again so much to my members for your extra support for this channel. I hope you guys are having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening wherever you are in the world. Subscribe if you haven't already and I'll speak to you soon. Bye, bye.